Hi guys! Today, we're gonna unbox an ASUS Expert Book. So guys, what is an Expert Book? Normally kasi ang mga Expert Book, ito yung tinatawag natin mga commercial units. So meron iba't ibang kategory ang laptop. Meron consumers, meron commercial, pati meron mga gaming laptops. So this laptop actually falls sa mga commercial units. Katulad ng mga Acer, meron silang commercial unit like a Travelmate. Ganun din si Lenovo, may tinatawag ng mga ThinkPad. And yung mga Dell, meron silang tinatawag ng mga Latitude. So here sa Asus, mostly yung mga, alam natin sa Asus yung mga consumers, ito yung mga Vivo book. But here pag commercial, ito yung tinatawag natin mga expert book. So ano ba difference between the consumer pati yung commercial? Normally kasi mas mura ang mga consumers compared sa mga commercial. Where sa mga commercials naman, mas mataas yung mga warranty durations, pati minsan mas matitibay sila. But expect na mas mahal ang mga prices nila kasi iba sa kanila mostly mga Windows 10 Pro. Hindi katulad ng mga consumers na naka Windows 10 Home lang. So, before natin unbox tong unit na to, i-announce sa muna namin yung winners ng backpack na ito. Okay, please stay tuned at the end of the video. So, in the front of the box, may kita nyo dito yung Asus Expert Book in Search of Incredible. So, there's the Asus logo here in the front and then some stickers or, you know, the specifications of the unit. But we're gonna talk the specifications later. And then, may kasama pala tong bag. So, this is the Asus bag. It's just an ordinary bag with not so much, of course, may lalagayan dito ng laptop and then Asus logo here and then sa mga zippers, ayun, merong Asus dito. Okay, so tabi na natin to. And then, i- Open na natin tong yun na to. So, once you open the box, ayun, in search of incredible. And then, there's a white phone here. Okay, so here's the unit. And then, we got here the manuals. And then, let's see here. Lagay na charger. Okay, so, eto napansin ko sa mga ASUS. Mostly mga ASUS, tagang ganito lang tagang mga charger. Isang box na maliit. And then, hindi siya katulad ng iba na talagang natatanggal yung saksakan, yung power cord. Ito, all-in-one na. And then, we got here 19 volts. So, that's 2.37 ampere with a 45 watts. And then, we actually have here a USB to LAN port connection. So, I'm pretty sure that this laptop doesn't have any LAN port. Sabi na natin to. Let's talk about the appearance of the unit. So, my first impression on this unit is actually black. So, lahat is black talaga. So, sabi sa box, it's star black ang tawag nila dito. Okay, so there's no other accent bukod sa color black lang talaga. And there's actually a sticker here of an i5. And then also a sticker here of a Microsoft Office 2019. Katulad ng mention ko, malaking bagay meron na kayong nabiling laptop na may Microsoft Office. Hindi na kayo bibili pa. Normally kasi ang Microsoft Office is mga nasa 3,000 to 5,000 ata. It also comes with a fingerprint sensor on the tracking pad. And then, iba yung chiclet niya compared sa mga ibang laptops. As you can see, oh, tawag ata nila dito is Island Chiclet. So, correct me if I'm wrong na lang, okay? And by the way, if you already purchased this unit, please uh, comment down below para doon sa mga bagong bibili because your feedback is highly appreciated. We got here the ASUS logo here and then the Expert Book logo there sa ilalim. And the ASUS logo here at the cover. So, this is made in plastic. Sa likod, ayan, not so much. Hindi ka tulad ng mga ibang laptop na talagang in-emphasize din nila kahit yung ilalim, in-emphasize. Okay, now let's talk about the ports of this unit. So, we got here a light indicator if naka-charge or naka-on yung laptop. And then, we got a micro SD card, an audio combo jack, that's 3.5mm. And we got here a two USB 2.0. And we have here a Kensington lock. At the back, we got here yung power socket. And then, we got a USB 3.1 Type-C, so that's Gen 1. And then, an HDMI 1.4. And then, a USB 3.1 Type-A Gen 1. Now, let's talk about the dimension of this unit. The width is 14.17 inch, the depth is 9.25 inch, and the height is 0.9 inch. The weight of the unit is 1.9 kilograms. Viewing angle is somewhat of 130 degrees. So, this is a 15.6 inch. It comes with an alphanumeric keyboard. Now, let's talk about the specification of this Asus Expert Book. The processor of this unit is Intel i5-1400 
10 35G1. So it's a 10th gen with a base boost of 1 gigahertz and the turbo boost of 3.6 gigahertz. The memory of this unit is 8 gig, so that's DDR4. We're gonna check if it is upgradable or not. The speed of it is 2667 megahertz, and then the storage of it is 512 SSD, so that's a PCIe. And then the operating system is Windows 10 and it is upgradable to Windows 11. And the graphics is Intel Ultra HD graphics. So the resolution is 1920 by 1080, so that's a full HD. It's a 15.6 inch, but it's a non-IPS display. It comes with 200 nits and then 45% NTSC. So right now, I'm testing the camera quality of this unit. So it provides a 0.3 MP, so not like other laptops, a 0.9 MP. So mas mababa yung megapixels at all. And what you're hearing right now is the audio quality of this unit. By the way, meron din pala nakasulat dito na Sonic Masters. We're gonna check the audio quality of this unit. So by the way, what you're hearing right now is the audio quality of Asus. So, ang um, nag-receive ngayon yung camera, not my mic. Kaya, ayun, ma mapapansin yung difference on my voice compared to this Asus. Hindi siya yung kalakas ng yung sound niya. Pero mga narinig nyo, emphasize mo yung sounds ng mga highs niya, yung mids, pati yung lows, or yung treble. Actually, medyo above average yung audio quality nito compared sa mga other laptops. So, here. Keyboard feels I was able to score 53 words per minute. This is one of my highest. Actually, one of my highest then is an Asus nung nag-vlog kami before. Napansin ko lang dito sa mga Asus na to, ang tataas ang mga words per minute ko compared to my regular laptop. I'm not sure. It's not because of Asus yung brand kaya mabilis yung words per minute ko. It's because of the chiclet of the Asus is different from other laptops. May kita mo talaga parang hindi siya yung ganun ka-square. May pagka-round siya. Tapos may mga gap talaga siya between other laptops or other computers. Yung keyboard design nitong Asus na to actually helps na mas mapabilis ka mag-type. Tracking pad, hindi naman ganun ka sobrang laki, katulad ng bilang laptops, pero hindi naman ganun kaliit. Pero isa sa mga special features nito, meron siyang fingerprint sensor. You can use the fingerprint sensor to unlock your laptop or to use it on security purposes like buying stuff using your credit cards or logging in on different accounts. Ayun yung purpose ng fingerprint. So, this is a 15.6 inch. However, it's not a backlit keyboard. So, I think I've told every specifications of this unit. Now, tingnan naman natin kung upgradable pa yung storage nito and yung memory nito. Tawagin natin ang ating technician. So thank you sa technician natin na nag-open ang chassis. So what I could see here right now is there's actually an HDD slot here but hindi natin pwedeng i-upgrade ang HDD slot by our own. If you want to upgrade it, you need to go to any ASUS service center. Kahit sa amin, hindi namin ma-upgrade kasi kakailangan nyo ng dock pati ng ribbon dito para makakabit ka ng HDD. And then the memory is actually located here. Uh, the laptop comes with an 8 gig memory. This is actually only a 4 gig memory. So there's actually a 4 gig already on board and there's an attached 4 gig. So you can put like an 8 gig or a 16 gig para gawing 20. So I think the pinaka ideal is 4 nga para 8. Or pwede rin naman 8 para to make it 12 gig. And then the SSD is actually located here. So this is the 512 SSD. So the fan is here. So intake ng fan is dito. Of course, dito sa ilalim yun. And then, ang out ng fan is dito. It's just that, hindi ko lang bakit ganito ginawa ni Asus na talagang yung travel ng air is from here to dito. Parang mas prone kasi sa alikabok pag ganun eh. Well, dito sa under the chassis, talagang may harang naman. Pero hindi yung may iwasan na talagang pag pumasok yung alikabok, may chance na talagang babato-bato siya sa gilid. But I'm pretty sure na mas maganda ang cooling system na ganito kasi talagang airflow talaga. And by the way, the processor is here, battery, and then Wi-Fi card here. So just to sum it up, ang pwede lang i-upgrade dito is the HDD and pwede natin palitan 
yung memory. Sa memory, pwede namin i-upgrade. However, sa HDD, kailangan sa Asus nyo dalhin to para ma-upgrade yung HDD. The laptop comes with a one-week replacement warranty and a two years Asus warranty. So, kanina, mayroon ako pinakitang leaflet. So, about the Asus Premium Care, you can actually contact them about in case na may problema yung laptop nyo. Their customer support is open 24-7. So, tabi na natin to and then let's talk about the pros and the cons of this unit. So, let's talk about the pros first. Unang-una, the laptop comes with a Microsoft Office. Hindi kasi lahat ng laptop may Microsoft Office. Kung meron man, trial version. But this is a lifetime. And the other pros na napansin ko is the keyboard. I was able to score 53 words per minute. Hindi katulad sa mga ibang laptop, mga nasa 40 lang or below 50. Dito sa Asus na to, mas mataas pa words per minute ko dito compared to my regular laptop. And then, other pros on this unit, it comes with a fingerprint sensor. So, hindi lahat ng laptop mayroong fingerprint sensor. And then, the audio quality of this unit is maganda talaga. It's above average compared sa mga ibang audio quality ng ibang laptop. Now, let's talk about the cons of this unit. Isa sa napansin kong cons is the camera quality of this unit. It's only 0.3 MP. Wherein the standard is 0.9 MP. So, in case na mapangitan kayo sa camera quality nito, meron naman nabibiling webcam na sinasaksak sa USB. I think mas maganda pa yun sa mga standard na 0.9 because I think they provide up to 20 MP. Parang katulad sa cellphone, ganun. Isa sa mga cons din, yung kanyang fan. I'm not sure if this is a pros na cons, na pros na nakikita ko, mas maganda yung cooling system. Kasi talagang babaybay niya yung buong motherboard para lumamig, bukod lang sa chip. Pero, hindi mo maiwasin yung alikabok na pwedeng sansan pumunta. So, I'm not sure kung bakit ganun yung design ni Asus, pero sa mga customers natin na nagkaroon na ng ganito klaseng Asus, your feedback is highly appreciated kung napansin nyo ba talagang kumakalat yung alikabok or dun lang sa area na yon. Okay, lastly, the cons na napansin ko dito, it's actually a fingerprint magnet. So, kailangan nyo talaga magdala ng pamunas para mawala yung mga fingerprints dito. Ayan o, no? dami ng fingerprints o. No? Saglit ko lang hinawa ka lang, timo hawa ko po. Ayan o. No? <laughs> so, sino ba target market nitong unit na to? Well, since it's an expert book, this is actually ideal sa mga tao na go work from home. In case that you don't have enough budget for a laptop, I think swak na swak sa inyo to. Hindi naman siya katulad na gaming laptop na nagpa-price na more than mga 40,000 above. This is actually 40,000 below, but I'll tell you the price later. It's still an i5, it's an 8 gig, it's running in uh, 512 SSD. It's a big storage about SSD. And then uh, of course 15.6 in case na kailangan niyo for accounting purposes, there's actually a numpad on it. And then pwede rin naman to of course sa mga estudyante. It's just that hindi lang siya pwede sa mga heavy 3D rendering because it does not come with video card na Nvidia. Integrated lang yung kasama niya. Pero don't worry kasi meron naman kaming mga laptop na i5 na, na may kasamang Nvidia. So if you want to know more about the units that we sell, pwede naman kayo mag-visit sa Facebook namin. Marami kaming varieties ng unit doon. Meron i3, may mga Celeron, may i5 na walang video card, may i5 na meron video card, tapos meron i5 na gaming laptop and above. So about the price, pag binili nyo to sa labas, I think this will be roughly around 40,000. But here in Laptop Factory, we'll be selling this around mga 38,000. And sometimes nagsisale kami. And actually at this very moment, we're selling this at 36,500. I would suggest that you grab it until medyo mas mura pa rather than na bumalik kami sa price na 38,000. But don't worry, our price will not be equal or more than the SRP. In case that you want to purchase this unit, we do have stores nationwide. We're just gonna list it at the end of the video. And then we also do cash on delivery nationwide via LBC. And then in case that you're inquiring for an installment, man, the mga installment, we're just gonna list on the description below. So I think I said everything about this unit. So guys, by the way, as we promised, pagdating natin ng 100,000 subscribers, we'll be continue giving a laptop. And then in order for you to avail this laptop, it's just simple. Just like our page and subscribe to our channel. And then click that notification bell. Malay nyo kayo manalo. Kasi aside from the lap, nagbibigay pa rin kami ng mga giveaways at the end of this video. And by the way, please stay tuned at the end of the video. Baka ikaw yung panalo nung bag na sinabi namin. Then again, this is Dustin from Laptop Factory. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Hi guys! Today, we're gonna unbox an Asus Expert. Go. Hi guys! Today, we're gonna unbox an Asus Expert. Go.